Hello everybody! So, are you wondering uh, what games, what Windows games, can you actually run on the upcoming Steam Deck handheld gaming console? Well, I'm gonna give you the answers and of course the information and the sources. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to my channel and give this one a little like if you find it useful. So, let's begin. So first of all, before we jump into more in-depth details, what OS the Steam Deck actually run on? Well, the OS uh, in Steam Deck is actually called Steam OS 3.0, uh, and it's a new version of the Steam OS based on Arch Linux. Now, in order to run Windows-based game, the Steam Deck actually uses Proton which is a compatibility layer that allows Windows games to run on Linux by using a modified version of Wine and collection of high-performance graphics API implementations. And this is according to steamgames.com. Well, now what this means that most games will probably run out of the box pretty good. Uh, but some others, you might have some compatibility issues which Valve actually working to improve to make it compatible with more and more games. Now you can actually read, again, this is from uh, steamgames.com. You can see that this actually uh, pointed out some of the known Proton issues. Uh, and as you can see here, there's also anti-cheat anti that can cause issues, anti-taper, DRM. And they gave some recommendations for developers who want to actually create games, window games that are compatible uh, with Steam Deck to make some changes so they are compatible. There's a way to actually report it, but there's a website called ProtonDB where you can actually see the games that are kind of whitelisted to work well with Proton, and which are not, which are having issues. Uh, pretty nice website to kind of uh, check things through or just to see which game maybe won't work, games you love and won't work on Proton DB just yet. Uh, sorry, Proton just yet. Now keep in mind that this is from, again, from uh, Steamworks. Um, uh, do I need to port my game to Linux to have it work on Steam Deck? Uh, the answer is no porting necessary. Your Windows build will likely, they say again, I'm emphasizing a likely work right out of the box thanks to Proton. Of course, if you are a developer, you need to make sure, you no know, test, to make sure that everything is working properly. And you're gonna get feedback from the community as well. Uh, maybe some developer will release it and get feedback and uh, try to kind of, uh, you know, change things just to make it work because there's an API. So probably gonna see some games take just a bit more time for developers to make adjustment for their games uh, to work on Steam Deck. Now, they also mentioned something about the anti-cheat anti uh, issues. So uh, the question is, my game uses anti-cheat, which currently doesn't work with Proton. How do I get around this for Steam Deck? And the answer is, we are working with BattleEye and EAC to get support for Proton ahead of launch. So games, some games that actually don't work, that we don't expect them to work because of the anti-cheat software, uh, will probably work uh, before the console is released. Now, from what we know so far, Valve behind the scene making sure that the big titles will be ready for you to play. Uh, I don't know if just you know the moment the console is launched, uh, but maybe shortly after. Uh, on the verge, I'm missing uh, that uh, this means the titles like, for example, Apex Legends, Destiny 2, PUBG. I saw PUBG, by the way, having issues. It doesn't run uh, well at all um, on Proton, but this likely to change of course because these type of games are very popular and Valve will put effort to make sure they will be compatible so I'm sure many games uh, that you see now uh, that seems to be not compatible will be compatible at launch. Now regarding installing Windows is it possible to install Windows on the Steam Deck? Well the answer is yes and this is in the FAQ. So you can clearly see yes yeah, Steam Deck is a PC and players will be able to install whenever, whatever they like, including other operating systems. So we don't have all the information available, but you probably already might uh, kind of think about dual boot. Maybe we can just install Windows, have a dual boot, and have something that just launches the Steam OS. So we can decide between the two and have both Windows and this. I mean, it's possible. 
technically, because you can install whatever you like. It's just a PC, but handheld. Now, I did hear in one of the interviews, I think with IGN or GameSpot, that they mentioned uh, there, the, there might be issues with game from uh, the Windows Store, for example. Uh, we, need, we need to wait and see about that. Uh, but overall, it's something that can be possible. This means that I can even maybe play games from Xbox Game Pass, right? Have this one. Although some of the games, by the way, like for example, uh, the new Halo, uh, you'll be able to play this one on the Steam Deck because it will be available on Steam as well. So just imagine, this is like having like a portable Xbox because most of the games, right, will be available on PC as well. So if you can play this on the PC and the Xbox, you can actually have any, almost any Xbox game. Maybe there are some that might not work, but most of the games that you can play on the Xbox, you'll be able to play this on the Steam Deck as well. Now, this is like the best cross-buy, cross-play you can ever ask, right? Because there are so many games or PC games that just will work on the new uh, mobile device. Just think about it compared to the Nintendo Switch, right? You have so much power in games that you already have. You don't need to buy them both on the Switch, both on the PC to play and see whether it's a post Christ play or not. It will be available for you straight on because you already purchased it on the PC. So you can actually play it on the Steam Deck whenever you like. And of course, we can also expand games to be optimized for the controls uh, because there's an API which you can actually use uh, with the touch, for example, the touchpad. So they can be optimized, further optimized uh, for specific games. And they're gonna be, uh, of course, uh, uh, button mapping and stuff, but developers can come up with different ideas uh, that just you know implement these controls specifically for type of gameplay mechanics that can work well with this. We need to wait and see. But overall, we can expect, of course, optimizations for games, upcoming games, and of course, previous games, the developers will work to make them optimize to work well on this. Of course, this open up a whole new world for extra income for developers if the console itself will be indeed popular, which I expect it to be. And if you are asking, by the way, kind of uh, confused about how this actually can perform so well uh, with high settings, medium to high settings in many, many, very high demanding, graphic demanding uh, video games is because when it runs on the Steam Deck, it runs on 720p, all right? And in that resolution, the hardware itself can push the frame rate and the graphic setting up. Uh, but if you play this in 1080p, of course, it won't be the same. The advantage is that you have the uh, this hardware uh, be able to run, which is equivalent to around, you know, the PS4, but you'll be able to have higher graphics and better frame rates because you're going to play games at a lower resolution. Now, this is just kind of an assumption, you know, think about it. If I develop, I'm a developer and I'm thinking about developing a game just for the proton. It can run on the, of course, on PC, but I'm just focusing on delivering an amazing, very high quality, gameplay experience for 720p. I optimize the game to look amazing for 720p. And this is my kind of a, my aim. It's kind of an exclusive, but not really exclusive because you can run it on PC as well, but I'm optimizing the game to run superbly well on the Proton. But of course we already have settings for games, you know, um, you know, most games have settings for PC that you can increase the settings, but maybe a game that is very optimized for the hardware uh, that the um, Steam Deck is running on, maybe they can optimize it to look even more, uh, even better. I'm not sure about this, but kind of an assumption. We need to wait and see. Now, I hear people talking about what you're gonna do, gonna play games on the bus. You need to understand, this is not about being mobile and be able to play games on the bus. Of course, most people play games at home, right? In the comfort of their home. But there's a big difference between just sitting on the chair in front of a PC with a mouse than just enjoying sitting on the couch and on, on your bed and just enjoying a game. I know this because when I purchased the Nintendo Switch, one of my favorite games to play, by the way, was actually MOBA game. It's just so, so much more comfortable and fun to play it with the controls of the Nintendo Switch with just lying on the bed in the evening, just playing. Uh, 
this is a big difference. And for other people, for example, like myself, when I travel a lot, being able just to carry this one and do some, you know, some work with this, uh, you know, some maybe slow other apps, video editing, but generally carrying a handle device that can play the latest games in such a small compact uh, form factor this is a huge difference this would be for people who want to travel don't want to take their pc just to take this and play games maybe on you know on the flight and whenever they are going this is just so much more convenient and keep in mind you're not limited to just the device you can actually connect different peripherals like headphones bluetooth headphones for example uh, you can play with a controller external controller there's so many options you can connect it to an external monitor as well this is just crazy. The amount of options that you have is just, you know, like a PC, basically. So the Steam Deck itself is a very viable alternative to maybe kind of the big rigs or, uh, you know, laptops. For many people, this would be a very good alternative and for a very, very affordable price. Now I'm telling you, this puts Sony and Nintendo in a very uncomfortable position. So we might even see some competition not far into the future you know maybe next year they're going to come with their own solutions we need to wait and see now the last thing is regarding upgrades i already heard the interview with uh, valve and they mentioned that of course they just first of all they're going to test the ground see you know how much popular it is um, if it's very popular and uh, they're going to continue moving it forward we can expect to see you know better more improved version introduced later on with you know more updated better graphics but the other thing is uh, to to understand is that uh this is open for third party developers to create their own steam deck in quotation type of device because they can use this operating system as well so it doesn't doesn't mean that we only going to have this specific steam deck as the main the, the only option uh, for this type of gaming experience. We can see other uh, hardware manufacturers actually creating their own uh, version of kind of a Steam Deck, uh, maybe at more competitive prices, maybe with better specs. Uh, we need to wait and see. But they all be equivalent when it comes to uh, supporting uh, all the things that the Steam Deck can do. Yeah, so this is it for this video. Hope you found this one useful and informative. More coming, so make sure you subscribe to my channel, give this one a little like. See you soon. Bye bye.